This lens filter is my secret weapon. I literally bring it everywhere. And that's because this lens filter can do something that no other lens filter can do. But this isn't the only lens filter I bring with me. I actually bring three that when combined will unlock a whole new type of photography. So we're gonna cover each of these lens filters. I'll show you what they do. And we're even going to be doing a giveaway. So make sure you pay attention throughout the video for the details on how you can win some of these filters for yourself. And all of this, of course, is thanks to KNF, who's providing the filters for the giveaway and is also the sponsor of today's video. The first filter, which also happens to be the very first filter I purchased back in my DSLR days, is this. This is the Nano X Pro Circular Polarizer. This is why I love circular polarizers. So architecture photography is a great example of why you might want to use one of these lens filters. So I did this shot and then I did this shot. The big thing you might notice is the change in reflections and in the color. So because we have all these really bright colorful doors and we have a little bit of sun coming in at a harsh angle, it's causing reflections. So if you take the circular polarizer, rotate it 90 degrees and that way you pull out more color and more detail in your photos. Do you see the difference? It is a big difference. Big difference. All those reflections just yeah. cut completely out, even the red door. Yellow doors even, the, the yellow shutters, more color, and then right. we're cutting out that reflection. So it's all just a personal creative look to unlock your photography. They don't line up. They're trying to tell me it lines up. <laughs> so the building behind us has this optical art installation. The idea is that, you know, when you step out of the way, you can't see it, but then when you step and align with it, but Stefano can't see it, but we took a photo of it, so I'll put it on screen because I think it's pretty funny. Circular polarizers can kind of feel like magic because of the way that they enhance colors. But to really understand what's going on with this filter, I need to show you how they affect blue skies. A circular polarizer is great if you want to add more color to the sky. Now the way it works is it cuts out scattered lights. When light is coming from the sun, it hits particles, things that are floating in the air, and it kind of bounces in different directions. So the circular polarizer is kind of like a, like a screen or like a, a spaghetti strainer where it strains out the water or the certain wavelengths of lights, but it leaves the spaghetti or other wavelengths of light to enter your camera, if that makes sense. Or like a, a panner, panning for gold. You know, it gets the gold. Maybe that's, maybe that's better. Circular polarizers typically have the strongest effect when used outdoors, but they can also be used indoors to remove reflections from shiny objects or even enhance your product photography. However, I think the next filter is actually more useful if you're planning to shoot indoors, even though it's traditionally thought of as an outdoor filter. This is a variable ND filter, and you've probably heard me talk about them in the past for using in video, but they're also extremely useful for photography. So this is the KNF Nano X Pro Variable ND Filter, and it goes from one stop, which is the least dark, all the way down to five stops, which is the darkest. And it's that darkness effect that allows you to reduce the amount of light entering your camera and do things like long exposure photography or slow shutter effects. But before I show you how I use it, don't forget we're doing that filter giveaway. So if you haven't already, hit that like button down below and pay close attention because I'm gonna show you what this does and you'll need that information to make a decision in just a bit. So we have this shot idea that we're gonna try and it involves the variable ND filter. The idea is that we're gonna shoot it without the variable ND filter and then we're gonna take the Nano X, throw it on, crank the ND filter so that we can show the motion inside the frame and we'll see if that looks good. So here's the first shot that we got. And if you look at the settings, it's ISO 100, 1 over 50, and F4. So we don't have too much room to play with other than upping our aperture. Like there's no way we could shoot this at 1 over 10. So to fix that, we're gonna pop on the ND filter, shoot that again, and lower our shutter speed to maybe half a second and a second to see what the photo will look like. Okay, so we tried a shot at one and a half seconds and it was a little bit too slow because I think me in the foreground, I was moving too fast. You in the background look good. Let's try it again. Let's lower it to half a second and see if we can get the amount of blur that we want. 
You might be wondering what the point of this technique is. And if you've ever seen architectural photography, the idea is that you show people doing things and it kind of makes it a little bit more exciting. So I'm gonna try one more shot, cranking the ND filter so that we can maybe get out like a one second exposure. This time shoot it vertical and we'll see what we get. Now KNF has another version of their variable ND filter that is a variable ND plus CPL two in one. So it actually combines both the first filter and the second filter into a single filter. But sometimes a variable ND filter isn't dark enough and you need the darkest filter possible for an even longer exposure time. That's where this guy comes in. This right here, is an ND1000. It's super dark and the reason that you'd wanna use this is because when you're in a busy city setting and there's lots of people, there's lots of cars, you take that photo and you get all those people inside of your photo. But if you pop this guy on, it's equivalent to about 10 stops of ND. So in this case, we're gonna step down ISO 100 as low as it will go. We'll keep our aperture at whatever our camera can shoot at. Then we're gonna drop our shutter speed to one second, two seconds, five seconds, maybe even 10 seconds. And all this traffic that's going by will be completely blurred out. An absolute perfect use case for this Nano X ND1000. Fixed ND filters typically have better optical clarity than variable ND filters. But the one thing that I really like about these KNF ones is that they have filter threads on the front so that if you wanted to stack multiple filters together for an even darker, even longer exposure time, you could do that. Now you may have noticed something similar between the last couple of photo techniques that I shared, and that's I had to keep my camera steady in order to get a clean image without any camera shake. Now in order to do that, I had to lock my camera off on a tripod. Over the last few years, I've used various different tripods, but one budget-friendly option that I keep coming back to is this guy. This is the KNF 60-inch carbon fiber travel tripod. Now I like it because it's super light and super affordable, but sometimes if you have a larger lens or a larger camera, it's nice to have a slart, sli slightly larger tripod. And in this case, I have this guy. So this is the one I've been using over the last couple of weeks to shoot fall photos, and it's their 62 inch carbon fiber tripod. I don't know if it's necessarily a travel tripod, but both of these are not too far off in sizing. This guy though is a little bit sturdier if you have a larger camera or larger lenses. But you might be wondering, do I really need a tripod to do all these cool effects? Well, before I answer that question and give you one more bonus tip that might convince you why you really want a tripod, I need you to leave a comment down below. So this is step one of the giveaway. Leave a comment with the type of lens filter that you'd like to win and the type of photography that you plan to shoot with that lens filter. You can use a variable or a fixed ND filter to do time-lapse photography in the day. Check out this sequence. In order to do this, I popped on the ND filter to get that slow shutter effect so all the people inside of the frame that were going around the camera were blurred out. Now you could do a regular video and speed it up, but then all the people would be nice and crisp. So instead, pop on the ND filter, pop on the variable ND filter, slow down that shutter speed, drop your ISO for this super cool effect. What do you know about uh, time lapses, Stefano? Me? Yeah, you. I like time lapses because they show motion. You're getting like a super high quality video. With raw photos, you can process them individually to get a higher end result than if you just shot like a 10 bit or even a 12 bit video. There you go. Fun tip. That's how it's done. If you've already completed step one of the giveaway, I now need you to complete step two, which is linked down in the description. So make sure you check that out and do both of the steps if you wanna win any of the KNF gear that you've seen in this video. And if you happen to be watching this three years, five years, 10 years into the future and, and the giveaway is over, don't worry because everything I've shown in this video, cameras, lenses, tripods, filters, all of that will be linked in the description as well. And lens filters or not, if there's one takeaway from this video, if there's one thing that you learn, it's to just get out to experiment with your photography, to try new things, to find cool locations, to find a friend or a subject to shoot in an interesting location and just get out 
and go shoot photos.